Hey everyone. So this is a video that I definitely did not want to make, but I wanted to let you guys know what was happening. Uh, not a good weekend. You know, sometimes people ask me, you know, how was your weekend? Not a good weekend at all. So yesterday, yesterday morning, I found out that my best friend, one of my oldest friends, passed away Friday night at 6.30. You guys may remember a live stream where he was there, Big L. Remember? He had cancer and he had um, chemo and they you know, got rid of everyone that they could see, everything that they could see, and it was in remission. But it came back, and it came back with a vengeance, and it was not very long after it came back that he succumbed to it. Uh, his wife, he was able to get married before uh, this happened. She called me up and let me know. She told me he did not suffer, he was not in any pain. He was in good spirits, which he usually was. Uh, he was able to reconcile with uh, not his biological father, but um, I guess uh, a father that had been there for him. Uh, he was able to speak with his you know, family. He has uh, daughters. And his sister, who I didn't realize at the time, but they had gotten angry with each other and weren't speaking, they were able to reconcile as well uh, before he passed. So um, we pray for the family. Uh, we're grieving here as well because he was part of our family. He was my brother. You know, I do not have a biological brother, but we grew up together. Uh, some of you may remember uh, us talking about it and everything, but we grew up on the same block and we shared so many different adventures, you know? And I do choose to celebrate his life, even though I am feeling, you know, sad and, and uh, you know, there's like a hole in my heart because, you know, nobody can replace him. You know, that was my brother. And he had so many plans. You know, he was planning to uh, move down here and hang out with me a bit more. You know, my sister, uh, Stiletto, Stiletto Green, she took it hard because, again, he was family. And that was her brother you know, her other brother from another mother. And you'll remember, you know, when he found out, you know, you know, we had finally, you know, um, reconnected because of course, you know how things go. Um, distance and, and time and, you know, you're not in contact as much. Well, we had reconnected and were, you know, enjoying our, our renewed relationship, you know, when this happened. So I'm very happy that that was able to uh, take place. I think it would have been much worse had we not reconnected. I was happy that um, we were able to meet in person and hang out one last time. Uh, it came as a really surprise because, um, like I said, it was in remission. And his wife is the one on dialysis. He's not on dialysis or wasn't on dialysis. She was the one on dialysis. So um, when I was getting a call from his phone, I was thinking, oh, boy, either he just wants to, you know, chat or something happened with her. But I was not expecting that. Um, I suspected it only, um, I missed the first call and she left a message, but she didn't tell me what, uh, was going on. But the fact that she called me from his phone 
and left a message gave me a clue as to what it might be. But I wasn't expecting her to tell me he passed. I was thinking maybe she would tell me he's uh, been hospitalized, you know, give me the number and everything so that, you know, I could, uh, you know, give him a call or something. But it took him out quickly. He did not spend that much time in the hospital. They tried to do um, what they could. Uh, she told me that they tried to remove it. It hit his kidneys and, and they tried to, they removed his kidneys. And it was just, not, it was rampant. It was, uh, what do they call it? Not rampant, but um, I forget the, the term they use, but aggressive. That was it. Um, it was aggressive. So after that remission, when it came back, it was very aggressive. And I mean, it, it, I don't know how long, but it was not long at all. Um, but we celebrate, you know, his life. He was always a positive person. He had a lot of plans. You know, he, you, he I don't know, you guys saw it. You know, as soon as we got together, we were like boys again. You know, just like just like we were, you know, back in the day, you know, um, you know, talking about the girls and, and all of that good stuff. Um, but. I, I do have my faith and I believe that I will. Be reunited with him one day. So. That keeps me, you know, I know not everybody uh, believes as I do, but that keeps me from curling up in a ball and screaming out, why am I losing my childhood friends and I'm not really that old yet, you know? Um, so just wanted to let you guys know, um, those of you who do remember, uh, remember him, he came on the stream, you know, every once in a while, it was Black Man Beyond. Some of you may have even um, followed him on uh, YouTube, and I think uh, he also had, uh, I think it was YouTube and Twitch and Facebook. Um, I'm not sure if he was on Twitch though, but definitely on Facebook. And um, if you follow him on Facebook, you'll see that they're putting up um, different uh, memorials and things like that for him there. Uh, so, yeah, it's been it's been a, a rough uh, weekend, and I may later on today um, stream. That is how I usually deal with my grief. That is what I did when my dad passed away when I was 17. Um, one of the things that I try to do is just continue on, you know, maybe find some way to distract myself and I don't drink, I don't do drugs. So what I do is game. I play games. Um, I also watch anime and, and that sort of thing, but that is usually what I do in order to deal with this type of thing. Um, probably in a little bit, I know my sister, when she gets up, um, will probably be watching some stuff as well. Um, but yeah, she, she definitely took it hard, but we are happy that we were able to spend some time. Um, I asked, of course, how uh, his wife was doing, and she was honest, you know, and she said, you know, she's doing okay considering the circumstances, but she felt cheated. Now, I understand what she means because um, Big L told me about their history. So they dated a long time ago, okay, when they were younger. And he messed up, okay? He admitted that. He said that, you know, he said, I was young, feeling myself, you know, still running around with the ladies kind of a thing. And so he basically wasn't in a place to appreciate what he had with her. So the one thing that did happen, though, 
even after they broke up, they remained friends. And they remained friends throughout a lot of his relationships and his growth. She stuck with him because she loved him. And she knew he was not ready for a serious relationship like that. And so she stayed with him after one, after the other, you know, listening to his, you know, cries of, of pain, despair, all that good stuff, all during that time. And eventually, when, you know, he finally matured, now mind you, this is him telling me this, uh, he finally matured enough to appreciate what he had, they got back together. They started dating again. And they dated for a long time. And finally, they were like, you know, you know, we're, we're both getting, you know, older. Neither one of them were in good health. And they had already felt like they had wasted all this time. You know, we're, we're talking a long time. I think it was like eight, nine years, something like that. So it, it was a long time. And so they finally decided to go ahead and get married, uh, which they did. And so she was very happy about that, you know, that she became his wife. But no one was expecting it to come back and, you know, be so aggressive as it, it was. So in that way, she felt cheated, you know, she should have been able to grow old with him. You know, she was expecting uh, to take care of him and for him to take care of her, because that's what was happening. Uh, she was on dialysis. And one of the reasons he was here and, you know, visited me was because he was coming over here uh, to, I think it was Grady, one of the hospital centers here um, had really good dialysis. And her normal one, I think, was going to be closed or something like that. I, I'm telling you, I see how God works. But anyway, a set of circumstances, some of you might think they were just coincidences, led him to be here and able to visit me before this happened. Um. And like I said, they were even thinking about moving over here so that he could be closer to me and we could spend more time together because the job he had, he didn't have to be any particular place. He had a mobile type job. He could um, do it anywhere. Um, he was a chauffeur. So he would just contact, you know, whatever um, chauffeur uh, location here. He was already licensed and everything. He also did driving for other things. You know, I think he did Uber, Lyft, and all these different things. So he didn't have to actually be where he was. He could come over here and stay and work um, without any difficulty. So anyway, that is the news. And uh, we want to celebrate his life. And uh, I'm I'm uh, I'm I'm dealing with it. You know, I, I don't have that many friends uh, left that remember all of the things we remember, and there's no one else that you know um, that I have maintained any contact with other than him that remembers those things that could verify all of my stories that I sometimes tell you guys about where I grew up. You know, he come, he, you know, he came on and was like, Oh yeah. And he's not, he, he's not, not only is he not exaggerating, he ain't telling y'all everything, you know, I don't have anybody like that right now. You know, I don't even know if some of the others are still alive. Um, I know for a fact that two others passed away. So yeah, I'm I'm dealing with it. And uh my my oldest female friend who also lived on that block, I probably knew her longer than I knew him. I have a message for her. 
She better not go nowhere. I'm losing my friends. I'm, 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 I don't want to lose no more. So she better not go anywhere. But anyway, that's it for this video. Um, I will try to stream later on today. Um, get my mind off it and and uh, try to distract myself from this. All right. So everybody take care. And you all have a blessed day.